I want to tell you it was a beautiful introductory speech. Thank you for the introduction. I'll answer one quick question, if you don't mind. Uh, <laughs> those shoes, they're not rented. Oh, no. <laughs> You know, I feel a little self-conscious uh, being here because I'm not dressed, but, uh, well, I knew it was a big affair, but I didn't know that I was going to be brought up here. Um, I mean, if I had known, well, I don't know what I would have done because this is all I got. But, uh, <laughs> You know, when I got the invitation, I was at home. Uh, it was about, oh, five o'clock in the afternoon. You know that they come in the form of a telegram. They don't come in the regular mail. You no, know, they send you a wire. And I counted the words, 63 words. You can imagine what that cost. I don't know, I don't know if you know that. Oh, here it is. I got it right here with me. See, this is the way you get invited here to this. Now, uh... This is not a night letter. This is a regular telegram. <laughs> but this is not the original. Uh, this, this is a Xerox, you know. Uh, I wouldn't bring the original. <laughs> so you could lose that. Uh, the, uh, the original, my wife, uh, she took that right away to the bank and she put that in a safety deposit box. <laughs> Until we could get the good frame, you know, then we get it. <laughs> then it goes right up there on the wall next to the album cover, you know. So it's just that frame. Um, let's see now. Uh, excuse me one moment, sir. Uh, are you through with that cocktail napkin there? No, uh, yeah. Thank, thank yes, you very sir. much. Uh, if you don't mind, sir. Uh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> You know, I figure you do it now and you get it done, that's all. Uh, just take it, just take it. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Uh, you no, put, no, sir, if you don't mind, would you put the uh, two Lieutenant Colombo Frank Sinatra, that's all. That, that, that's good. That's good enough. You don't have to write out Lieutenant L.T. Perry. I put L.T. already. Uh, uh, Could you put to the missus? <laughs> uh, Lieutenant Colombo and Mrs. And, Colombo. And Mrs. Frank, Frank Sinatra. She loved it. You sure that's all you want? That'd be good. That's it? Yeah, that's it. Can I say good. love? 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 Say love. Yeah. yeah. All right. Could you put the missus first? <laughs> the missus, Colombo, Colombo, and the lieutenant. Okay. Wait. 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 Even better. Just put two rows. <laughs> If you could have been at the house, you wouldn't believe this. What happened there when this invitation came, you know, the family, they went crazy. One said, ask him this, and the other said, ask him that. And, uh, well, you know, on my wife's side, you know, they know about show business there. Oh, yes. Like uh, Dominic. Well, he's from Hoboken, like you were in oh, yeah? yeah? Not that he knew you. He didn't know you. No. But uh, he knows show business. He knows Broadway. Well, he sold barber supplies in the Times Square area. <laughs> then, uh, this is his poem right here. This glows in the dark. <laughs> well, anyway. Anyway. He, he married this girl, Teresa. She's also from Hoboken. And, uh, and when you, Frank, you know, when you in those days, when you were singing at the Paramount, she worked in the in the Orange Julius there in the corner. She was, on, she was a hostess there, you know. Showed people to their stools. <laughs> Now, 
Now remember, this is them asking, not me. I'm out of this. You know. <laughs> what they claim, they claim a few years ago when you retired was because your voice had got a little tired. See, they claim now that when you make a record that Jerry Vale does the singing for you. <laughs> Let me, let me give you this. This, this, is, uh, this is from my wife, lasagna. Uh, you know, it's all fresh tomatoes, and uh, she made the pasta herself, and I, I hope you enjoy it. All right. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Uh, listen, uh, don't bother washing out the pot because that's Teflon. <laughs> the steel wool that scratches the bottom. <laughs> you could rinse it out with water when you're done. <laughs> and there's an address in there, and then you just drop it in any mailbox. <laughs> I have to return the gentleman's pen. Oh, the pen. I borrowed the pen. That's right. Thank you very much. Art delicatessen. <laughs> Do we do? Oh, that's a wonderful place. Do you want to keep the pen? Huh? Oh, that would be lovely. Sure. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Into arts, I, you know, they got there a uh, an early bird dinner. <laughs> You get there, you can get there before five, you know. You get the main course and the choice of soup and salad and the beverage, $1.99. <laughs> you know. I want to ask you a last thing. This is very hard to ask. <laughs> but you know, my wife went crazy when she got the invitation. Oh, you need a lot of nerve to ask this. I don't know. <laughs> you know, my wife is watching, you know. And uh, I don't even know if you're permitted to do this. Uh, well, you see, in my family, we get together every month. We all sing. And, uh, well, you know, I, I'm the worst singer, and you're the greatest singer. And they're all out there watching. Would it be possible? Not a whole song. Just a... <laughs> Bye bye, Blackbird, something. <laughs> uh, uh, they get a kick out of it. They're all looking. Hiya, Rosie. How's that? Yeah, just one here, just here. Pack, pack, pack your joys and woe. Here I go, singing. 